just um, an introductory video of ECOME. As um, Eleni very, very well uh, uh, said that um, we, are, we, are, we are a company that does many things uh, with uh, one main focus, which is uh, audiovisual production. But we have uh, three strategic actions that are highly intertwined. Uh, in order to help um, promote audiovisual production in Greece and um, help our industry grow. Uh, all at the same time, um, uh, helping creators uh, develop a project from the original idea to the end um, result. And uh, we do this through many different activities and uh, collaborations. So. Uh, the main, the main reason why I am here today, and this is quite unusual also for me, so um, forgive me if I'm a bit um, uh, stressed, but this is a, a weird thing happening with Zoom. You know, Zoom gives us power under COVID, but it, it can also be a very weird uh, uh, sensation at times uh, when you want to interact with many people and uh, Unlike, unlike the times when we're in physical contact, uh, in, in Zoom it can be quite awkward when you stop speaking and you, you have to raise your hand on the things like that. So um, on the other hand, things have been very difficult and uh, I would like to you know, say thank you and congratulate Eleni and, uh, and, and Rula and all the, the amazing team for the effort they, they, they're putting and they're putting their hearts basically and uh, um, everything they <laughs> they do. See, you have a thumbs up here, and it totally distracts you. So. Well, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so many, many thanks for this. Um, and um, you know, for 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 people joining this program, being here means that you have already discovered your story, which is amazing. And I think that after two weeks of meetings and exchanges and. Uh, uh, training, you, you will probably have a very clear idea or not of what the story <laughs> is going to look like, but this is a very, um, uh, a very organic process and um, I'm only happy to be um, joining you in the process uh, because what I am about to present is just uh, a fragment of, of what you're doing, but it can be very helpful uh, towards what you're trying to achieve. Uh, through your art and through your passion. So uh, my company um, uh, handles the uh, financial incentives for audiovisual uh, productions. Um, I will give you a presentation now where I will um, guide you through some basic uh, uh, information about the incentives and what we're doing uh, in total with uh, the audiovisual sector in Greece. And then I will be happy to take your questions and uh, if you feel like, um, if, you, if you feel the need to have individual meetings, I am more than happy um, to accommodate the request because I'm here for that. And um, we can start now with the presentation if uh, Vagelis is ready. Great. So we can, we can skip basically this uh, slide and, and the next one saying that, you know, we think Greece is the ideal location for your next project. It's only obvious if you say that from Nisiros. So um, what I'm, I'm about to present you is the reason why we think Greece is the ideal destination for a project is, uh, is a handful of reasons. It's the financial incentives. It's the, the way that we have organized uh, our program to work in a very efficient manner. Uh, the fact that the natural set uh, provides uh, one, one, one of the best uh, studios, basically, in the world to, uh, to develop a project. And then, obviously, you already know that Greece is full of excellent professionals and it provides security uh, before and during COVID. And uh, we were really, we're really happy and lucky to see that uh, productions have resumed and filming uh, restarted uh, immediately after uh, lockdown ended in, in Greece. And um, we, we, we are in close contact with the uh, production companies and we see that uh, filming is taking place right now in Greece really smoothly. 
So um, let's go to the next slide and see what exactly what you're, you're getting with uh, our incentives. And uh, basically there are three uh, components of two incentives. It's the cash rebate program um, destined for uh, film, TV series, documentaries, and animated films. We have the cash rebate equally for digital games, and we have a tax relief program also for people choosing to invest uh, in audiovisual production. The cash rebate, both for film and, and, and video games, uh, is at 40% in eligible expenses incurred in Greece and the tax relief uh, is uh, a 30 percent deduction from the net taxable income for um, the eligible expenses that incurred in a, in a project. We can go to the next slide and um, let's talk about the uh, cash rebate which is uh, basically return in cash. There is no cap meaning that the more money you spend the more money you will get. Money spent in eligible expenses in, in, in Greece. Uh, and also we have a very flexible uh, floor right now for projects. I, I just need to mention that uh, the law for the cash rebate uh, was revised and uh, uh, came into effect 10 days ago. Uh, so uh, people who are actually planning uh, a project right now will benefit from the best version of, of a program that has been running for the last two years now with great success. Uh, being in close contact with, uh, uh, with professionals, we, we, we saw their needs and, and we accommodated a lot of requests uh, that help projects uh, be eligible for the cash rebate program. So uh, filming uh, uh, in, in, in terms of um, a feature film or a TV series or a documentary um, has different costs. So uh, a feature film in order to be eligible, uh, the minimum required uh, local spend should be 100,000 euro and, uh, and above. But for, uh, for TV series, for example, it's 25,000 euro per episode, provided that the total minimum for TV series is over 100,000 euro. Now, if you, if you have a story that develops in more than 70 episodes for TV series, then it's 15,000 euro per, uh, per episode, which it's really, really um, uh, flexible and, uh, and uh, uh, approachable for, for projects coming to us right now. In documentaries, we have 60,000 euro, and uh, for docu-series, it's 20,000 euro per episode with a total uh, minimum for the total series at 60,000 euro. And um, one thing that it's really um, important to note is that from the moment that a project comes to us and uh, um, the application um, takes place, uh, the pre-production costs apply. So uh, uh, it's, um, it has worked for a lot of projects up to now that uh, were applying um, in advance. Uh, one thing that is uh, very, um, very helpful with the new law is that now a project can apply um, uh, 10 days, even 10 days before the beginning of, uh, of production or uh, post-production. Uh, let me just mention that the cash rebate covers uh, 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 production and or post-production. So uh, uh, a company and the project can choose Greece only for post-production and they can uh, be eligible for the cash rebate. So um, basically um, a project needs um, to respect the timeframes, the minimum local spend, and, um, and that's it. There, I will go through some other details um, in the uh, second part of the presentation, but what's important to mention right now is that the cash rebate program, the Greek cash rebate program is an automatic funding system. So uh, we, we will not um, judge a project based upon the scenario. Uh, it's, it's, it's purely um, a mechanism uh, that funds projects uh, in order to attract a project in, in Greece. So if, uh, if, if, if an idea, if, if a script uh, is being designed right now, and it sees Greece as a uh, as a, uh, as a destination for uh, 
for, for, for the project, then uh, that's one of the biggest and the strongest points in order to be able to be eligible for the cash rebate program. Uh, finally, when, when, when everything is completed and um, uh, the, 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 the production has wrapped and invoices are, are sent and audited, uh, the money is deposited into a Greek bank account and it's uh, tax-free and it's uh, transferable and um, production can use this money however um, it wishes. So let's go to the next slide, please. Now, uh, uh, just one word uh, for the digital games because um, in, 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 in Greece, we, we, we look at digital games uh, uh, with... Um, with a lot of attention, we believe in the power of uh, technology, especially because uh, uh, filming and digital games are highly, highly connected right now. So uh, we want to create a space for projects, uh, for funding of projects, and for 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 young uh, and talented people who are um, great creators but cannot find uh, sufficient funding for for projects. So the cash rebate uh, equally applies uh, to digital games. Uh, the minimum spend is only 30,000 euro. And there are uh, a few points, um, namely the game design document, the cultural test, and the uh, eligible expenses that are all um, uploaded in our system, in our website. And um, I'm not going to take most, more of your time with this. Um, just to let you know that if you want to discuss more details about this, I will be happy to answer uh, your questions later on. Um, up to now, we've already had two projects in the cash rebate program for video games, so we hope to see more coming. Um, next slide. And equally, the tax relief, which is uh, the, uh, the second incentive that started um, operating uh, um, this summer. Uh, so this is, um, is also a very, a very important incentive, especially for uh, physical and legal entities that um, wish to invest in a, in, in a project, in a, an audiovisual production. The eligible uh, expenses are the same, the same as the cash rebate program. And um, one of the most important prerequisites is uh, the creation, the setup of a special bank account in a Greek bank in the name of the production where all the expenses are, uh, and all the money uh, are linked to this, um, to this account. Um, next slide, please. Finally, um, a, a, an important part of our um, incentives, and it's, it's not a um, financial program, but it's a very, very important incentive for us, uh, and it's all uh, connected to servicing. How productions are serviced throughout Greece, uh, how the needs of producers are met, uh, how the needs of a project are met. This has been one of our most um, um, serious concerns uh, from the beginning of, uh, of, 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 of ECOME and of the operation of the cash rebate program. So we're setting up in partnership with um, uh, public and private st stakeholders throughout Greece uh, in, in, in 13 regions across Greece and two selected municipalities in Athens and Thessaloniki. We're setting the, the, the national network of film offices where uh, there will be um, um, a, 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 an office uh, within the local authority able to provide free services, guidance, uh, intermediation with permits, and anything that is um, needed for, uh, for the execution of a project. Uh, no matter what project we are discussing, an audiovisual production can be a video, a YouTube video, uh, an advertisement, um, a feature film, uh, a music video, etc. So, uh, what we want to make sure is that, with the use of financial incentives and with 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 the right uh, services, there is a real support uh, to 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 a project. And um, uh, basically, we we feel that this is the only way our incentives can work um, completely and uh, very successfully. Next slide, please. 
uh, one of our biggest um, um, strategic activities is um, the National Repository of Audiovisual Archives, where we will be um, collecting uh, material um, and we will uh, also perform digitization and, and, and uh, through various collaborations and, and initiatives, we will be able to um, not only uh, collect and preserve um, audiovisual works and help um, promote our, our national and cultural heritage, uh, but we are also looking into a great source of inspiration for script writing, for research, for development of ideas uh, through a very um, uh, sophisticated database that will be uh, helping creators such as yourselves um, uh, find information or even inspiration for a next project. Next slide, please. Uh, one, one small uh, line for, um, this is the educational part of ECOME here. Uh, we, 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 we are very um, uh, committed to the proliferation of media and information literacy uh, in Greece and uh, in collaboration with uh, uh, international and, and, and European um, institutions and the professionals and stakeholders, we apply um, educational programs uh, that are MIL oriented and uh, you can find more information about that on our website in the section under education. Next slide, please. So um, in, in a few words, you have all these uh, options in Greece uh, with uh, this um, uh, diversity and uniqueness in, 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 in landscape and uh, uh, a, a natural set that provides any sort of background you wish for the development of your idea. The accessibility and the friendliness are our hospitality. You already have an idea about that. I am privileged enough to um, uh, cherish the hospitality of uh, this uh, amazing uh, seminar. So I'm not going to say more about that because uh, uh, we will move on now. Uh, so next slide, please. Um, Qualified film professional facilities, yes, uh, English speaking crews, very hardworking people. They know how to work under adverse conditions. They've been um, uh, working uh, now under COVID restrictions uh, with different protocols and uh, uh, taking care about um, the safety of uh, people involved in production. Uh, we have uh, um, sound stages and uh, uh, we're in the process of uh, um, developing partnerships for um, uh, investing in new um, infrastructure for, uh, for building new uh, studios um, in Greece. And um, we have also um, a program for uh, professional training uh, for, 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 for young people who wish to uh, be employed as uh, um, uh, technical crews in productions. Next slide, please. So let's uh, take a um, closer look at the um, cash rebate program. Uh, we will talk about eligible expenses and how you can um, use a cash rebate for, for your project. Uh, we can, moving on to this, uh, to the first slide, um, can we go, yes. So um, the, the cash rebate program uh, covers above the line expenses, below the line expenses. Mainly it's below the line. So this 40% that uh, we, we discussed is um, uh, the below the line, um, uh, including uh, the insurance premiums and completion bond guarantees up to 5%. Uh, the uh, uh, production company service, uh, service fees also included and uh, uh, a, a small amount of cash received, but also travel expenses to and from Greece. And um, there is uh, something that not every uh, um, cash rebate program in the world uh, can cover, uh, uh, dubbing and subtitling. So if we're looking into a, um, a, a project that uh, is not uh, 
um, English speaking and needs to be uh, subtitled. This is also included in the eligible expenses. Uh, with the new version of the law, uh, the above the line expenses are now up to 35% of the total eligible cost. Uh, royalties and directors and scriptwriters and two leading actors' fees and the producers' fees are covered, provided that um, uh, they are willing to be uh, paid uh, in Greece. So just bear in mind that um, uh, all expenses that inc are incurred in Greece, uh, they are covered. So this is um, just um, uh, a picture to have in mind when we discuss eligible expenses. Uh, there are limitations, so we don't cover financial assets, fixed assets, uh, marketing, promotion, and uh, communication costs. Next slide. So basically, if we were looking uh, uh, on a budget that was uh, eligible for 1 million euro, uh, the above the line expenses would uh, uh, be up to 350,000 euro. Uh, with the below the line, the percentages that I've mentioned previously uh, would be at uh, 50,000 euro for insurance and, and completion bond guarantees, 100,000 euro for the production companies, uh, uh, the production service companies fee, uh, 20,000 euro for fuel expenses, and 5,000 euro up to 5,000 euro for cash receipts. Uh, also, the cost for applying for the cash rebate program uh, is at 500 uh, euro. And uh, um, if, if any project needs amendment, meaning that during production, if, uh, if, if um, the, 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 there is a need to, to make a, an amendment to um, shooting days or uh, uh, production expenses, uh, the company has the right to submit uh, an application for an amendment, and this comes with a fee, and it's at 200 uh, euro. Uh, now, maybe all these things that I have mentioned previously may sound purely technocratic to you, and I will fully agree with you. And um, uh, they're only necessary in order to get an idea of uh, what is the span of the cash rebate program in Greece. But uh, from my experience, and we have worked with uh, um, over 100 projects uh, to date, uh, the cash rebate program is really simple. As I mentioned before, it's automatic funding. So what you really need to look at is the four basic criteria, when to apply, what, uh, what is the minimum uh, spend. Uh, the cultural test, it's a cultural test that applies in all um, financial incentives uh, run by countries, uh, uh, members of the European Union. So uh, we, every country that um, funds projects with, uh, um, with, with, with a program such as the cash rebate uh, will apply a cultural test. So for example, if you have a feature film, you only need 20 out of 50 points in order to qualify. And um, you will see, if, if you visit our website, ecomed.media, um, we have all the laws translated in English and uh, uh, all the guidelines for the program also in English. And you will see that the cultural test, it's a really, really simple uh, cultural test. Uh, also, as I mentioned before, uh, the cash rebate is paid uh, in cash and tax-free. Um, and um, it can also work against a loan. So if you, if, if, if you uh, choose to take a loan from a Greek bank, um, it, it can work by way of guarantee and the cash rebate will be directly deposited to the bank as a repayment for the loan. Uh, it's, um, it's very important to highlight that uh, our program is really strict in terms of credibility. Uh, we apply a two-tier auditing process. Um, uh, a certified um, chartered accountant must control all the invoices uh, on behalf of the company, and we have an in-house um, uh, accountant that will run the same process uh, on behalf of the government. Uh, and in the end, when the project is uh, ready to be distributed and presented, 
uh, we will have uh, our logo um, uh, provided to the uh, company to be included in the credits. Next slide, please. So in, in order for you to be able to make use of the cash rebate program and make the best use of the cash rebate program, we we made sure that there is a team of of, of people, dedicated people, who will uh, um, who will work with you exclusively under strict confidentiality, in order to guide you through every step of the process. Uh, so they will also know when to uh, advise you in order to apply for an amendment, for example, during production. Um, they are there to help you understand what is this technical program and how you can uh, how you can reach it. If you're coming from abroad and um, uh, you want to find a production service company, or if you want to uh, go in co-production and you want to discuss the uh, accumulation of uh, funding, because uh, we see that you know. Um, co-productions, they make use of uh, different funds and in, 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 in our case, uh, and thanks to this updated version of the law, um, you can combine the cash rebate program with another state aid up to 50% um, for the overall production cost, uh, um, if it's a co-production, uh, if it's a, um, um, uh, an EU co-production, it's up to 60%. And 80% for a difficult audiovisual uh, work. Uh, difficult uh, is um, defined by um, EU criteria. And, um, and one thing that is important to highlight here is that uh, programs that are funded by the European Commission, or let's say the media program, they are not considered uh, national state aid. So the Greek cash rebate program and the media program can run uh, independently at the same time. There is no accumulation of, uh, of funds. So you will get the whole uh, funding from the cash rebate in Greece and uh, the media program. Uh, as long as you respect your time frames, and we are here to remind you how to abide by these rules uh, and basically uh, have uh, all the things that we have, I've mentioned before said, you won't have any difficulty in reaching uh, this program and benefiting from the program. There is a, a 75 million euro uh, fund deposited in the uh, national uh, state budget, and um, it's there for, for you to make use of it. Uh, next slide, please. So uh, until now, um, the, um, the, the number of projects that have been approved uh, uh, by ECOMEF for the uh, cash rebate program is 89. Uh, and basically, um, more, than, uh, more than half of them are international projects, and the rest are domestic projects, including feature films, TV series, documentaries, uh, video games, as I mentioned before. Uh, the total production expenses in Greece of all these projects have reached uh, over 86 million euro and the, 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 the amount of money that will be returned to producers and a lot of projects uh, have already been paid uh, is uh, 29 million euro. Uh, during this process we are uh, discovering that these projects are not only uh, supporting the workforce uh, uh, here in Greece, we have more than 26,000 uh, people employed in these projects, but they have spread all over Greece in over 100 locations. And for us, this is a very, very important thing because as our motto here, sorry, over here uh, states, uh, Greece uh, uh, is an open studio. So uh, when we see projects traveling throughout Greece, uh, we we are we are thrilled basically. So um, I invite you to uh, visit our website. Um, next slide, slide please. Uh, it's um, ecomed.media. I hope you can uh, see it well in, in uh, on the screen. Uh, I know that Eleni made sure to provide you with our information material, and um, uh, we have this um, um, uh, uh, cute and fun little booklet that you can consult. Uh, 
Fortunately, the uh, law that um, raises the cash rebate was adopted and um, um, came into effect 10 days ago. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to update the content of the booklet, so some facts inside this booklet are outdated, but uh, the new version will be uploaded on our website very soon. And all this basic information that I mentioned is already included on our website, so feel free to visit the page and contact us and contact me personally um, uh, through our social media, through our um, email addresses and through uh, Eleni and the Mediterranean Film Institute for uh, more information. Thank you. Eleni, I cannot hear you. <laughs> Thank you, Vasiliki. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, sorry about not uh, about the microphone. Basically, I have a first instinctive response, and I want to go for it. I want to ask you if you can give us this PDF presentation to give to all the participants, because that would be with an email. That would be nice and in a very nice way for them to see what's out there in terms of funding uh, opportunities here. Absolutely. Uh, I, I will have a revised version of this presentation perfect. That, is, that highlights only the necessary things that you need to know and remember for the cash rebate program, because mm -hmm. it's a presentation that also talks about other things that may not be that important to you right now. Mm -hmm have a smaller version of this presentation to your inbox uh, through Eleni. Okay, that's that's a super nice. Let's see what more can I get for my people. Anyway, <laughs> it was really, really uh, nice. Look, the numbers, they're not always, uh, 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 you know, uh, inspiring, but thank God to some people the numbers are because this is a first step towards actually making your films. And I don't know, I think there was a lot of potential in a lot of uh, things that personally I didn't know. For example, I was happy to hear the animation, uh, uh, support for the animation project. So we have an animation uh, project on board. Nuria, if you want to ask more questions, because it's an animation TV series, and you know, maybe you can, ha I can arrange a meeting and you can uh, work on that. Absolutely. Okay, yeah, Nuria likes that, that's super nice. So I know I'm not supposed to to ask uh, all the questions. So if people really want to to go ahead, this is their time uh, to step and ask. Personally, I was really happy to see that there is all this opportunity there. I mean, actually, I feel like making a movie myself at the moment. And no fly. And especially in the COVID uh, situation, I think uh, it could work. So, people. Eleni. Yes. Maria. Maria wants to. Maria wants to talk. Hello, Miss Diaguma. Thank you very much for the lovely presentation. It was very, very helpful. It raised several questions. Um, I'd like to ask when you mentioned about the percentage regarding the state aid. Okay, uh, if this is only for state aid from Greek um, state and public funds, or if it also applies to foreign public funds, uh, such as, for instance, a grant from the CNSA in France, or relevant public funds in Germany or other countries, are they also included in the percentage, or is, is it just from Greek state funds? Uh, okay, thank you, Maria. That's a very, very interesting question. Uh, it applies for both. Uh, basically, what uh, uh, the European Union states, and it's, uh, uh, it's an obligation followed by uh, all EU member countries that hand out public money for uh, uh, financing audiovisual projects. Um, they want to make sure that there is no accumulation of funds from uh, national sources, whether domestic or foreign. So if, uh, if there is a collaboration uh, with another country, we will be looking at the uh, funding coming from another national source from another country. So yes, the case of a German uh, national fund applies equally. 
uh, we will be looking at the accumulation of both aids, uh, the German aid and the Greek aid. If, uh, for example, a project has applied uh, in Greece at the Greek Film Center and ECOME, there is accumulation of funds equally, and we are looking at all sources uh, during the application uh, in order to um, uh, basically uh, see up to which extent uh, the uh, combination of these aids can reach. So the, 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 uh, the, the 40 percent of the cash rebate program will not exceed uh, in total, let's say, the 50 percent of the total production budget in case of uh, a co-production. Uh, we have different level for a cross-border production and different level for difficult audiovisual work. Uh, if you have uh, a project in mind with numbers, uh, we can do a calculation in ECOME and give you exactly um, the, uh, the amount of money that would be attributed through the cash rebate program. Uh, second question, if I may. Uh, you mentioned in the presentation that um, there is also a limit uh, of 60,000 to be a eligible to apply for uh, the tax rebate uh, in shorts, in the cash rebate in short, that's short films even for fiction or just documentary? Uh, even, even for fiction. Uh, uh, so if, if it's a short film, uh, then the minimum spend will be 60,000 euro. If it is a documentary, uh, and this is defined also by length, uh, we have a minimum spend of 60,000 euro, but if you decide to create a, a docu-series, uh, then we break it down uh, uh, into cost per episode, and we have a 20,000 euro uh, minimum spend per episode, provided that the total number of episodes exceeds 60,000 euro. Okay, and one third question, and then I will shut up and let someone else talk. Um, it's a small question regarding the tax relief program for uh, private funds. Yes. Okay, that also applies for foreign private funds in foreign tax codes. No, uh, you will have to be taxed in Greece. This. The, the, this this incentive on, uh, can run on its own and in combination with the cash rebate program, but uh, I didn't go extensively um, through this program because um, it's a separate incentive that was designed uh, to attract investment, pure investment in a project, regardless of whether this investment is coming from. So uh, it can come from a physical, uh, from, from a person or a legal entity, but uh, you would have to be taxed in Greece because it goes directly into your net taxable income in Greece. So in your, in your tax declaration, basically. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Maria, for this very, very, very good questions to the point. Yeah, I think Marco has. I think Marco has a question. No, yes. Yeah, just uh, hello. Thank you for presentation. Sorry, I was a bit late for familiar reason. Uh, I want. Uh, I would like you to confirm for documentary, for feature documentary, the minimum of expenses are sixty thousand. Yes. Okay, because in the, in the site it's still hundred thousand because um, it's very important. Hundred thousand would uh, I, would put out every documentary in Greece. <laughs> I, I, I thank you for this. Uh, I would like to say that I've been working this morning with a technical company in, in Athens uh, because, uh, because of the new law that, was, uh, that came into effect a few days ago, uh, we are speeding up the uh, changes in our website and there were a lot of technical issues because we also had to introduce a, a new section for the tax relief program. And we basically redesigned a lot of our pages on our website. So some of the texts on the website haven't been updated yet. Uh, I, will make, I will make sure to edit everything, but um, uh, you can contact me directly for any um, 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 information or mention on the website that is unclear to you because uh, we're doing this in parallel. So uh, sorry for uh, any misinformation no, no. on the website on my behalf. No problem, no problem. The important is to confirm this is uh, true yes. because it was uh, 
discussion yes. we had for yes. a long time with you and, uh, and uh, from the part of the Greek Documentary Association. And thank you very, very much for to have correct this because it's very important for documentary making in Greece. Thank you. Yes. yes. Okay. That's very good to hear. Any more questions, people? <laughs> I see Nuria is laughing. <laughs> okay. let, let me just say that if, if this is a bit, you know, too overwhelming for you, because I know that you're here for a different reason. I was just, uh, we've been discussing with Eleni, uh, you know, since yesterday, basically, but it seems like weeks anyway. Uh, a lot of brainstorming is happening and you are focusing on a specific thing right now, which is the most important for you. But while, while you are um, um, developing your ideas and you are, uh, you know, diving deep into your um, um, story and your project, uh, there will be times where you will have to, uh, you know, go into discussion. Bless you. Uh, uh, about um, um, practical things related to your project and financing the project uh, is one of these things. So when the time comes for you to choose a, a, a place, a location, a destination uh, for your project, it will be very, very important for you to know what are the tools that you can use in order to bring your project to life. And, and one of the things that we, we see at ECOME and we, we pay a lot of attention to it is that we want to be able to help creators and professionals take one, um, one idea from beginning to end and, and, and provide everything that is necessary for them in Greece to make it happen. This is, this is our pride and joy. It's not about giving money, which is uh, very important and we are very happy to, to, to do this. And you've seen the numbers, we'll be doing it uh, quite extensively. But, uh, what is really, really important to us is uh, uh, to witness the, the birth and the development and the launch of, of, of a project. A project that was born in Isidros two years ago uh, is now um, uh, released and, uh, um, and screened and it was also part of the Cash Bay program. So uh, there are too many things here connected. So. Think about of all of these things and any questions you have, I'm, I'm here for you. And the project, if I may add so, was the project uh, uh, Maria in the Volcano by Luis Moya from Spain, who came first time in 2014. He loved the place and he did his first feature film. And then he said, I'm going to go again to Nisiris with a project that is there uh, in Nisiros, and he came in 2016. He shot the film uh, two, one year ago, two years ago, and it's now distributed in Greece. And it's one of the success stories of the workshop, and one of the reasons we actually came together with uh, Come uh, based on that success story. So, yes, thank you. Viva España, viva Luis Moya, <laughs> and Maria de Volcano. <laughs> so, any other questions on this uh, technical uh, but very important uh, uh, information? Okay, what you really need to know, because this is something that you need to take in, absorb, check your project, is that any information you want will be available to you at any process of the, your development stage. And uh, because it really is true what Vasiliki said, that we, you need now to develop the project and then to decide on these things. Uh, just keep in mind that while Vasiliki is here at the island, she will be available. She's very kind to have a coffee with you, to chat a little bit about potential questions or potential uh, financial, uh, you know, ways to 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 find funding from uh, for your film, film series, 
documentary, animated TV series, <laughs> and uh, uh, any other project you may have, future project you may have in mind. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna ask a little, wait a little bit if some questions comes, and if not, I'm gonna call it a day. Okay. okay. I'm gonna give a big virtual hug to everybody, and I'm gonna do something that you know maybe uh, it's a bit unexpected. I'm gonna invite you for drinks with Vasiliki. Uh, to the bar Miramare in Nisiros, where we will be having a little, um, uh, how do you say, concert by um, by some of the technical team of the MFI. Excellent. So, so those of you who are in Nisiros will have more time to. What time? Uh, okay. At ten o'clock, they will start. Okay, thank you. Those of you who are not in Nisiros, we are thinking of making a very small live video to kind of torture you, but it's not a torture. We want you there. So we made a group in the MFI uh, page in order to share live videos with you. That's the best I could come up right now, you know? <laughs> so immediate videos. And... Um, Martina likes it. Thank you, Martina. I like it a lot. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna like that too. I, li I like it myself. So, uh, yes, we're gonna hear uh, amazing music by the amazing uh, Harula, and uh, we're gonna show you some footage, and uh, we're gonna uh, tell you again how much we really hope that you will make your movies, and hopefully some of them will be um, uh, shot in Greece. So a, thank you, Marco. A big applaud to Vasiliki for this uh, amazing information that we really need. Thank, and you, thank, you. thank you all. Thank you. And yes, it would be nice if you say thank you like Nuria did. It's nice to see you once in a while. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Enjoy the drinks. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Great. So, see you around, and uh, we will be, uh, you know, it's seeing more and more lectures. Okay. okay. Bye, Marco. 10 o'clock, eh? 10 o'clock. Okay, see you there. A bit earlier wouldn't hurt. In life, you know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> ah, Nuria, I really, it's a big pity that you're not here. I know. <laughs> I <laughs> sure I like not... oh, but okay. hopefully, hopefully Rhodes. Hopefully Hello. Rhodes. Yes. Hopefully Rhodes, and then maybe Kalamata, and then, you know, maybe next year, because it's besides, you know, it's a series. Maybe you will do the second season. Yeah, we... <laughs> <laughs> Start with the first one first. And see what... Yes, little by little. Oh, two children. Can I take them to the party? Of course, yes. How much alcohol do they drink? <laughs> <laughs> Two whiskey. Okay. okay, sorry about the lame humor. It's this time of the day. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Never be sorry for two months. Okay. Thank you, Marco. Bye-bye. See you. The white collar suits you very well, the T-shirt. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay.